this is Yamin and welcome to live tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can show data from database table in library view so in the in the previous tutorial we insert some data to a table called student which is this one over here in this table we insert the data for student so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can show all those data from this table to over here in library view so if you want to know how to insert data and image in library, you can check out the previous tutorial. I will give the playlist link in the description. So right now, let's go and show the data for student over here. Uh, so for it, let's go back and here you can see in the welcome.blade.php, uh, this is the blade view. From here, we are calling this library function store student. Uh, this is the blade view for library and which is this on store student dot blade dot php from here we have some input field for adding data so after this uh, form we are going to write some code so that we can show the data of the student table and here you can see store student dot php and this is kind of controller for library and this is inside the app http library and here you can see store student.php and this org as a controller for library view which is this one so over here in this store student.php we are going to uh, write a function over here which is public function mount and here you can see this mount function will automatically call by library view always so whenever a view is loaded in library this mount function will be automatically called so you do not have to explicitly call this function so inside this mount function will say over here dollar this this arrow sign student so do, dollar this student this will act as a variable and equal to we will mention our table name which is std student double clone all so here we are basically getting all the data from the student table and we are storing this inside this student variable and one more thing that is uh, we also need to mention the student model at the top as well. So once you just write this it means you are ready to get the student data in your library view. So let's go to our store student.blade.php and over here just after this form just like Laravel uh, we will mention a for each loop over here for each we we'll give to first bracket then we'll say dollar student and this dollar student is actually this one okay because of this dollar student as dollar student and we also need to in the for each loop we'll say here at the top in for each and after this uh, just like in laravel we get the data the same way we need we will also get the data over here as well let's just mention a p tag over here and here if I go to the database table here you can see in the student table we have name email and images okay so first of all let's uh, go and show the name and email first so here we'll give two second bracket and inside it we're going to say dollar student this arrow sign name so right now okay let me just copy it and paste it here and this time we'll say here email so if we save it now then if we just refresh here here you can see the data from the table and you can also write the name and email edited different as well let me just show you like this to third bracket then name and for email also the same way to third bracket email if we save it then if we refresh here you can see nothing changed we are still getting the data or we are able to show the data so right now let's go and show the image and here you can see that in the previous tutorial we upload the image and uh, we upload the image in the shortest folder and we also at the end of the video i also showed you how you can link the shortest with the public folder so here in library in order to show the image we'll mention the image tag over here and in the source we'll give two second bracket then we'll say over here shortest stro storeg shortest then double clone url to first bracket we'll say then dollar student let's give to third bracket and inside the second collision we'll say image so like this we'll be able to get the image and so let's just uh, mention the image height and width let's say height will be 200 and width it will be 200 so right now let's save it and uh, 
if we just refresh here here you can see we are able to get the images so we need to mention the shortest because we are storing the images in the shortest folder that's why and here you can see photos folder and this one we are not mentioning it because uh, in the image section here you can see photos slash the image name so that's why so i would highly recommend you uh, if you don't know how to upload image and data in library i will highly recommend you to check out my previous tutorial so yeah we are able to get a view over here now let's say you have you need to return multiple view from here you can do it as well for it all you have to do is that just copy it and let's say you have another table where you want to show the view and the table name is user you can just say over here user like this and uh, you also need to mention the user model at the top and then all you have to do is that you need to write a for each loop to showing that user data okay so that is all so this is how you can show data from table in library so i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have any question or if you face any problem you can let me know in the comment section and i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so thank you very much for watching stay tuned and stay healthy